That's hilarious, though. <laughs> Wonder Twins references. Great. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the Wonder Twins reference. What's up, everybody? Saigon and crew here again. We are wearing matching bandanas. Yeah. Two bandanas. Yeah. This is our crew. <laughs> this is how we roll. Uh -huh. Weirdos. This is our gang side. <laughs> uh, I don't have that one yet. Oh, I'm just so Aww, bad. boo. <laughs> We could have the uh, the Pratt fall as our gang sign, just to everybody fall oh. over. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw my tantrum. All right, it's me, Sagan, and also Thief and Kuri and Hi. Tian. So it's all there. Actually, I don't know where. Uh, where's, yeah, where's Kuri? Kuri? I'm headed down near Blooming. Dale. Well, I guess we're off to Bloomingdale then. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we want to do that story thing, I we are doing would. Bloomingdale today, I guess. <laughs> Instead of dying to Equinox again. Um. Aww. You sure? Because that sounded like a horribly wonderful idea. Wait, I'm sorry. I meant a terrible idea. No, wait. I meant a horrible idea. Pat, the first time. Pat beat him apparently. <laughs> what? what? Alone. Fine. What? <laughs> Ooh. Solo? Like, he's been doing the grottos because he didn't want to like progress the story too much. No, he has an actual party. Oh, oh God. Uh, I was just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he so. should have been priests. <laughs> Yeah, wow. yeah, having a priest is really nice, and sadly, like Pat hasn't been able to make it here as much as I was hoping you would. I should have been the priest. Pat should have been the minstrel. Yeah, we're the cutscene. We're continuing story. This is Bloom Residence, home of Bloomingdale's most munificent citizen. Is that a word? Yeah, yeah. that means they've rolling in the money. Munificent. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Ms. Marion Bloom. Hmm, you're a friend of the ship's warden, you say? Then you're very welcome here. Do go in. Home invasion. I like how, well, this is, you know, this is one of the rare times that we've actually been invited inside. This is <laughs> <laughs> Not this is invited true. to break the pottery, necessarily. Not invited That's, to rob the place. It comes with the invitation. <laughs> Does it? I... I don't want to live in an RPG world then, because people just gonna roll <laughs> up my house and start breaking shit. Nah, I can't live like that. That's a terrible way to live. Um, well, yeah, can you imagine, like, living in an RPG world, coming home and all your Transformers were broken? Oh, be, I, I would become the villain of the game. I would become the villain of the game. Now, that's a plot line. Mm. <laughs> the guy whose pots you broke. The pot maker. <laughs> What are these stupid locked doors with the designs on them? They upset me. Who wants okay. to be Marion? Okay, oh. Oh, oh. Good day to you both. What fun have you in store for me today? Well, Marion, ahem. I mean, Miss Bloom, I thought something sweet might be nice. So I've baked you this delicious strawberry sponge cake. I do hope you like it. A uh, spun? cake? A gunge cake? Ah, thank you. Yes, I shall have it set in one of our finest vases and put on display. On dis- um, Miss Bloom, it's a cake, not a- I mean, ahem. Yes, yes, of course, as you wish. Marion, Marion, don't you want to know what I've got for you? Who is it? Well, we girls prefer clothes to fatty old food, don't we? And we're always wearing the same old... You're always wearing the same old ribbon, so I got you a new one. I don't want it. What? But... But what? Why? It's really pretty. If I say I don't want something, I don't want it. My ribbon is the same as the my one true friend's. It's perfect in every way. Marion's voice got a bit deep there. Because <laughs> <laughs> she wants it and she wants it now! I shan't just replace it with something else. No. No, no, no. Get out of my sight. I want nothing more to do with you. But, but I... I... Who are you? Are you a new friend? 
Uh, <laughs> we don't need the boat. <laughs> Not at this cost. Pleased to meet you. We haven't met before, have we? <laughs> Your damn TV. <laughs> My ship? You'd like my ship? Certainly, you can have it. Take it away with you. Go wherever you please. But all I ask is that you let me be your friend. Hmm? You? You're not the same as the others. You've come from Marion, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> I won't let you! No! No, no, and no! I hate you! You're not my friend! I take it back! You can't have my ship! Get out! Really, Miss Bloom, there's no need to get so angry. Yes, let's all kiss and make up. We can make up, can't we, Marion? No, no, no! <laughs> I hate you! I hate all of you! Get out, get out, get out, get out! Get out! <laughs> You're, uh. <laughs> she's not possessed. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm gonna spoil it right now, she's not possessed. <laughs> oh, dear me, until. until tomorrow then, Miss Bloom. Bye bye. Oh my, it looks like Miss Bloom is in one of her moods again. I think I'll stay out of her way for today. That's why I don't do the girl voices. <laughs> uh oh, hello and goodbye, Miss Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over now. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, mm, her friend is dead. Phew, what a handful, eh? Any idea why she boiled over like that? She bolted totally out of the blue. That's, that's awful, too. I miss Shannon. <laughs> like, I tell you not to touch her with a large pole, but if you can't patch things up, we won't get that ship. Let's just all take turns doing Stella. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone around here who knows how to get inside her good books. Oh, Kristen didn't get a chance. That's okay. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> oh, I was like, left for dead. Open the door. No, you're all infected out there. <laughs> Turns Whoa. out he was infected and you open the door and he's a boomer. Um, spoilers. <laughs> Sorry, guys out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, spoilers for left for dead. dead Everybody is zombies. <laughs> I know. How dare I? <laughs> there's like, there's a spoiler in left for dead too. <laughs> Yes, yes there is. That's I won't spoil the, that. It's just the one. <laughs> yeah, it's just the one, and it doesn't happen but the once. And, and you gotta get the DLC to even know about it. Yes, and it, it uh, hurt me. It hurt me. Did it? Oh. What? Why? Because it's, reasons. Because you cared about the characters or something? I cared about this character. Oh, was that know. is was that your one? That's my character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a strength ring. Did you? You should give it to me. I got 1,500 gold coins. Do you Damn, need a girl? Girl? <laughs> She was going to give you her boat because yeah. you said hello to her. Besides, really, you're robbing her, her parents. Yeah, this is I true. I don't see them around. Exactly. <laughs> <Her dead parents. laughs> and there are, there are cobwebs. <laughs> yeah, nobody's been in here for a while. Nobody cares. I am getting dead parents, that disappointed look from Kristen. I didn't even have to look over. I don't even have to look at you to give it. <laughs> Oi, you there. How dare you upset Miss Bloom. I'm sorry? Dude, you stole my, you stole my cockney. What's that, mate? Oh, oh look, we've got a crowd. You guys accent. are just offending the UK. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> they offended me with their high taxes on tea. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> America. <laughs> Tom. Uh, well, well, what a shocker. It sounded like she just completely flew off the handle. I bet you jumped out of your skin, didn't you? I heard she was quite sickly gentle girl, 
but she seems full of beans and, well, not that gentle at all. Beans. Full of beans. <laughs> full of beans. Beans. Oh, yeah. It's all because of what you said to her. That's why Ms. Bloom got so angry. How am I supposed to get by now? Ah! You're going to get you and the rest of us back in her good books. Do you hear? Start by asking her old nanny for some advice. Hmm? Where can you find your nanny? She lives in the house, just across from the mansion. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Miss Bloom was always a sick child. Her ill health meant she couldn't play outside, so she would stare forlornly out of the window. I know this because I stalked her. Nowadays, she acts rather like a spoiled little madam, but at least she's fit and well. Mind how you go about, Miss Bloom. Her mood swings are becoming famous around here. She even dismissed the entire household staff, you know, for no reason whatsoever. Hmm? What's happened to them? I think they're all working at the inn now. It's a little bit Miss Piggy. <clears throat> yeah, that was very Miss Piggy. It wasn't intended to be Miss Piggy. <laughs> it, would, it would be better if you said By the it way, was. The new Muppets show looks just great. Really? <laughs> yes. Alright. It's a behind-the-scenes reality show in the lives of the Muppets. Oh, that's even, cool. Even Kermit, though Kermit and Miss Piggy have broken Kermit up? Kermit and Miss Piggy have broken up. The tension between them is hilarious. Aww. She's seeing Nathan Fillion now. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Kermit is seeing a new pig, Denise, who Aww. somebody else saw and was like, you have a type. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It looks so great. <laughs> That's right. I was Miss Marin's nanny, bless her. I do miss the job, I must say. Goodness me, are you sure? She locks herself in her room? Oh, dearie me, that's an awful worry. But I don't know if I can help. I don't know if she'll want to see me. Ever since she got well, it's like she's been a different person. She's very hard to handle now. She won't talk to her staff at all. I don't know what. Oh, wait! There's someone she might listen to, I suppose. The toy maker. He made her a doll, you see, and she absolutely doted on it, bless her. He just lives next to the church. We're all the Omar. Yes, if Marion's having one of her temper tantrums, I should think the toy maker's our only chance. Thank you, old lady. Now, would you I'm like some milk and cookies? I'm raiding your dresser. I already stole it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I already found an item misla miscellaneously placed. Miscellaneously placed? Miscellaneously placed. Yes. That sounds perfect. Wait, this is the mayor's house. Yeah, I don't know why you gave is me it? Here. Yeah, yeah, this isn't the toy maker's house. I'm like, wait, where's he going? He said house next to the church, didn't you? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah the, go the, around the, to the church. House next to the church proper. What she meant was the graveyard. Yes. Well, that is something else entirely. But the house where the shoes are. Shoe house. Oh, I would have thought that this is an armor shop. It's a house. It's they live here. See toy maker right uh, here. It's complicated. <clears throat> oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I'm Randolph. This used to be my workshop once upon a time. I was a toy maker, you see. But I'm getting a on a bit now, you know. I retired a while back. What's that? Devil make a doll for Marion Bloom? Goodness! How on earth would you know? Ah, you were talking to her nanny, I suppose. Oh, yes. That takes me back. But how in the name of the Almighty did you get to the, get on to that subject? What? Marion's being difficult, and she shut herself in her room? Oh, dear, oh, dear. That is a worry. Thank you for letting me know. I don't really know why, but Miss Bloom has always had a soft spot for me. Even when she'd banished the rest of her servants from the house, she would always agree to see me. Why don't we go over there and see if I can't coax her out of her room again this time? Good plan. <clears throat> We're there. Not yet. Hold on. Hello, Miss Bloom. It's Randolph. Sorry, I was getting mine caught up. Marion, are you in there? Whatever is the matter, my dear? You haven't fallen ill again, have you? 
Well, the door appears to be unlocked. Perhaps she's gone out somewhere. I'm I'm coming in now, Miss Bloom. Raid the room. Well, that's most odd. There's no sign of Marion or the doll I made her. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Look at this. There's a letter on the bed. Well, now, let me see. Cockney. We got the girl. If you want to see her again, you better bring all your dough to the cave up north. My goodness, this is outrageous. I, I mean, the spelling is just... <clears throat> I mean, we must raise the alarm at once. The spelling is pretty offensive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my first Miss complaint. Miss Bloom's been kidnapped. Everyone, Miss Bloom's been kidnapped. Hello, ghostly girl. But first, the raise dresser. the room. I can't. Oh, you beat me to it. Anything else? Anything else? Tom's no. Tom is uh, being very heroic, <laughs> moving the story along. <laughs> oh, that's Kristen. Oh, Kristen. Yeah, you guys are wearing matching hats. Oh, that's right. I yeah. didn't recognize you without the cat ears. <laughs> I don't. That you wore the one time. <laughs> Dots. <laughs> I've been slimed. Boy, we never would have thought to go out of this door without that prompting us. No. Mm -hmm. Sigan reads the inscription on the gravestone. Behind every great man is an even greater woman in loving memory of a dear mother and a faithful wife. In loving memory of a great man whose rare business talent brought fortune to this blooming dale. Ha, ha, ha. Chew. In memory of my one true friend, may you rest in peace. Kristen. <laughs> that ghost was the splitting image of Marion, don't you think? What do you reckon is going on? <laughs> oh, I guess we're still handing it off then. You were doing such a good job. <laughs> You don't think something's happened to Little Miss Moneybags, do you? She is my one true friend. <laughs> That's her! <laughs> I stole that from you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She is afraid of ghosts. I don't know why. I am Marion Bloom. This is my resting place. The girl, the poor girl who's been kidnapped is my doll, Marionette. My precious marionette, who is given life by that mysterious fruit. Did everyone catch that significant look? The fig. <laughs> <laughs> the, was... the look that said, do you get the pun? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I wasn't like the other children. I couldn't play freely outside. Marionette was my one and only companion. She was everything to me. We played together every day. I was really very happy. But, as my condition worsened, I knew that it wouldn't be long before the Celestials came to take me away. And then one day... Oh! One of the servants <laughs> brought me a mysterious fruit that, thought, that was thought to heal all ills. It was a beautiful golden color like the sun, but it was too late for me. I'd already given up hope by that point. I was sure that my life was already over, that nothing could save me, not even that fruit. Look, Marionette, isn't it pretty? It looks just like a star the way it sparkles, doesn't it? And it smells mm, delicious. Why don't you eat it with me? I'd like to share it with you. Just imagine, Marionette. Imagine if you could walk and talk just like I can. I'd be so happy. If only you could come to life so that I could have just one true friend before I. <coughs> the, the Celestrians 
are c- coming for me. <gasps> They're like the Gestapo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi ho <laughs> You are Marion. You are my friend to the end. I'm so happy to be able to speak to you at last. M- Marionette! You you're really Why now? Just when I am... It's not fair. What do you mean? I... I am... Marionette, I leave everything that I own to you. All that is mine is now yours. I give you my life. If people realize that you're a doll, they... They won't let you stay here. You must pretend to be me. Hmm. I hope you have a happy life as Marion. Live the life that that I could not. Well, nothing to do here. <laughs> Make lots of friends as I never could. Use a phoenix down, Cloud! <laughs> Fortunately, Dragon Quest is not filled up with (laughs) return-to-life items. Marionette made this secret grave for me so that no one realized that she wasn't me. Noble Celestrian, it is all my own doing. I'm the only one to blame. Please don't punish Marionette for this. Huh, well, that's one fig we're not getting back. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Kind Celestian, please help Marionette. Help my one true friend. Let me get this straight. One of those figs has turned a lifeless little doll into a moody little madam. Now I've heard it all. Still, you can't really turn a blind ear to a cry for help like that, can you, noble Celestrian? Chop, chop, then. Get to work. You've got a doll to deliver from the crutches of doom. Does she mean clutches? Cool. That she, she gets them wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I forgot. That's her little fatal that's, flaw. That's her thing. That's her fatal flaw. Running through the house where no one is, cause well, what they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were all dead. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, weapon shop. Oi. I've already been there. Now she run running circles on your screen. So Steve, cause I have nothing better to do. You need a new shield too. Do I need a new shield? Yes, there is a better shield in this town. Yes, there is. I already have the tortoise shell fan equipped. There is a better shield in this town. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's a platinum shield in this Ooh. town. Ooh. It's all shiny. Ooh. Barrels. Got them. Thank you. Platinum goodness. shield. Barrels. That is. My name is Doug. Better. Feather headband is not. Is it's one sexy. defense better, and it probably loses the magical might. In, or oh no, it has magical might mending. Don't is there not a way it. to directly compare to what you're wearing? It should no. be comparing it when you're looking it, it at it. It compares the yeah. primary stat on it. Not the secondary. But it's kind of weird for things like you know gloves will give either defense or deafness. deafness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it'll look at you know the primary stat on the one that you're looking at, and if its primary stat is defense, then it'll look way better than the gloves that you're wearing if the gloves that you're wearing are deafness gloves. Right. So, you do need to uh, keep in mind what it is you're already wearing. I'm pretty sure, I thought I already had a feather headband. 
It's probably on one of your other people. No, they're all warriors. Oh, that's right. With their metal slimes. Oh, I do have a f feather headband. Oh, that's right. It has way lower agility. That's why I swapped it out. Do I need to go back to cat ears so you recognize me? No, no, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, <laughs> you're I'll you're different down. from us now. I'll get it down. <laughs> You're not one of the bandana boys. The bandana boys. <laughs> the bandana boys getting into trouble again. The bandana boys. Trying to save the world. Oh, you expect me to continue? I I didn't know if you were going to or not. I had a flashback of the... Uh, the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. That's, like. all, that's all I made for you to have. <laughs> I gave you the preamble, the rest is on you to fill in. You two are never able to sing it quite the same way again. <laughs> we're never going to, no. It's never going to happen. And we're not going to be able to do the dance ever again. It was a one-time deal. Sorry. It was magical. It was. It was magical. It was like stepping into like some bizarre world where musicals happen. <laughs> where people are forced into song and dance. And he and... Um, PJ. It wasn't PJ. It was it was PJ and um um um. Was it Andrew? It was no, Andrew. It was, it was Andrew. me and Andrew. That's it right. It was you and Andrew. And like <laughs> they started singing the Dukes of Hazard theme, and then they just freaking went with it, and it was perfect. And they were in perfect sync, and the entire thing was unrehearsed. <laughs> And this is the kind of thing you would see in a Disney movie, <laughs> and they were never able to replicate it. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you had that moment, Reggie. It was a fun moment. I'm and then we started square dancing. Just We just <laughs> grabbed each other's elbows and just started going. Right there in the middle of my store. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Game crazy. This isn't crazy, but I showed you crazy. All right. Are we ready to head to the bad cave? Yes. Bad Can we cave, go to the good cave, cave first? What you gonna no. do? What you gonna do? <laughs> should get the there, bad one out of the There is no good cave. What? Ah, oh, Kristen. Yep. <laughs> what did she say? I you guys say. got him rolling. He was chasing me. Mm hmm. Does everyone I'm have nowhere near you people. the items they need? Um. Well. Booyah. No. <laughs> Mood warp ball. We, we, uh, uh, we should definitely make sure that we have antidotes. I don't know how many of you watched the tutorial video that I sent out earlier today. I was at work. And then I came home to relax so, and play Destiny. Okay, so... <laughs> Transformers. Poison? Buy a transmission. I, I don't remember Poison in the Bad Cave. The boss. Thomas already beat the boss. Oh, yeah. You can fight she, your way through the poison. She has an AoE poison attack. If Thomas already beat her, then I'm less scared. Oh, <laughs> wait. There's Gather Point over here, isn't there? Ah! Uh, to the left, there's yeah, a gather. What? <laughs> what <laughs> chased what me up, for what 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 oh, We got he chased me so far. <laughs> no, dude, go away. Go away. Oh, my God. This thing will not leave me alone. Do was we need to call you? No, it was a tiger tar. Oh. oh. Tiger tar. We, we may need to go rescue Reggie. Maybe we should. His monster's much bigger than ours. Well. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. When we come back next time, we're going to start in on the Bad Cave. Uh, with any luck, we'll have saved Reggie from the Tiger Tour. <laughs> Shouldn't take too much luck. Shouldn't take too much luck. We're good. Thomas is good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See you all next time. Later. Oh, 